how's it going guys? Alright, this is another movie that I rented and this is going to be another short review. I've been doing a lot of short reviews today, but you know, I haven't done reviews in a while, so this is my special treat for you guys. Um, but yeah, this movie is called Nailbiter, and this is another movie I rented at Redbox, surprisingly. Not really, but um, yeah, it's called Nailbiter, and it's another one of those low-budget movies that nobody really gives a shit about. What this one's about, however, is a bit different. Um, it's about a family, a mother and her three dollar dollars. <laughs> a mother and her three daughters, they're on a trip. They're not on a road trip, I believe. It had something to do with, uh, picking up their father at the airport or something like that. And, um, basically there's like a storm coming. I think it's like a tornado or something, but there's a storm coming. And they, um, they have to take shelter from the storm. So they kind of ditch their picking up their father at the airport and they find this old abandoned house and they you know nobody answers the door so they decide to go in and take shelter from the storm and basically they're stuck inside that house until the storm is over but basically what happens is there is something inside the house that is not human and it wants to eat them yeah um, basically it's like some, some monster creature whatever it's not human and it wants to kill them inside the house, so they're trapped inside the house with the storm going on, so it's a bunch of crazy stuff and they're about to die. This movie is very cheesy, you know, it does not show the creature that much, so I can't really tell you if the creature effects are good or not, because it really doesn't show much, actually. There's like a couple parts here and there, but, um, you know, the movie is very... not very entertaining, actually. I was about to say very entertaining, I don't know why, but, um, you know, it was alright. I enjoyed a little bit of it, but... Most of it bored me. I'm not gonna lie. It didn't really catch, grasp my attention that much. I kind of, you know, almost dozed off a little bit while watching it. I just, I don't know. It wasn't that great. The acting, however, was very good. I, the acting was good. Um, the story was good. I really liked the story. It really, you know, in, intrigued me to buy this or rent this movie. Um, I would probably not buy this though. But um, you know, it's it's. It's very cheesy. Like, I just said, like, the acting and story was good, but the movie's cheesy. It's true, like, the, I remember it's cheesy. I don't know, I don't remember, but why, but it, I remember it being cheesy. Um, but yeah, if, if I can't remember it that well, then that just tells you, hey, you know, this movie, you probably won't remember it, you know, in the near future, so don't bother watching it. I would recommend you watch it though, cause just just because I don't know. Cause actually, you know what? Don't watch it. I guess um, there's more movies out there, more better movies. If you completely run out of movies to watch, go ahead and rent this one. Um, you know, it's nothing great, nothing special. Um, it's just all right, mediocre, whatever. Seen it, done, been there, done that. Overall, I'd probably give Nailbiter two and a half out of five stars. You know, it's alright for what it is. It has a very interesting story. Um, but other than that, the movie's kind of boring. And it really isn't that great of a movie. So, there you go. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next. And I will see you guys later.